Example 3, Chapter 3, Ground Fluid Mechanics. The tank in this figure is being filled with the water with by two one-dimensional inlet. So inlets one-dimensional air is wrapped at the top of the tank. So air. The water height is H. Uh, find an expression for the change in water height as dH on dT. So find an expression for water height as dh on dt and compute dh on dt if d1 1 inch D2 3 inch V1 3 foot on second V2 equals to 2 foot on second and A T equals to 2 foot spread. The condition is water in so this is a problem that can be solved with the Reynolds transport theorem relation which was uh, the relation for mass as a property of a control volume was as this expression we had an expression changing the time of control volume eta equals to one for properties flood properties m and we have two inlet and without outlet so uh, let me write first the expression so out minus in So we can write as this formula the because the mass of the system is increasing so the mm, change in time is not zero so we have this expression plus outflow is zero and we have our two inlets which are for example, row 1, V1, A1, plus row 1, V, row 2, V2, A2, equals to 0. As we know, row is 
constant so we can continue the solution as d on dt rho b in each time we uh, then we can write minus row 1 b1 a1 plus row 2 b2 a2 equals to 0 now we are going to calculate v as a function of h bt equals to there is a constant of a A T, which is uh, normal to the paper, multiply to H a function of time. So we can write the relation as this. So A T is constant and H T is the height. So we can write the relation as let me we have this relation D uh V T equals to A T which is constant, H T which is a function of time and we have D on D T rate noise transport We have a relation for VT, D on DT, rho ATH, T equals to rho AT, DH on DT equals to uh, rho v1 a1 plus v2 a2 so we can write an expression for dh on dt equals to rho v1 a1 plus v2 a2 on rho a t we can eliminate the simplify the relation dh on dt so we have an expression for dh on dt and if we okay. replace it for b part b we have the quantities for d1 equals to 1 d2 equals to 3 v1 equals to 3 v2 equals to 
So dh on dt equals to the volume at the velocity at 1 is 3 foot on second multiplied to a which is p plus v2 multiply to pi on a t which was 2 foot square so we can obtain the change in equals to foot on second so we can write ht equals to c1 at t equals to 0 h equals to for example if 0 we can have calculate c1 if we have an appropriate initial values 